Mackenzie. See you. Have fun at school. Have you ever like found like people who wear glasses inside and outside? Just be a little mysterious. Like I don't know. I've been getting that sensation wearing these glasses. I look good though. You don't have to see all my face. But what's going on, guys and gals? It's Brendan bringing you another vlog today. This is our seventh vlog. Today I have decided to put my video and. It's gonna be about why my name is Dedicate. I'm a firm believer in dedication and anything I do. In high school, I dedicated myself to getting good grades, being good in every sport I could, and just being the best person. Okay, so in high school, I, uh, I played three sports. I played basketball, football, and golf. My first sport in high school was football. I was an O-lineman. I wasn't the biggest. I wasn't the fastest. I dedicated myself every single day that year to getting bigger, faster, and stronger. I was dedicated to the fact of being the best O-lineman on our team. So then, we have basketball. I'd always played basketball my whole life. I always played with all these good players, man. I was always one step behind everybody. I was, just, I was always this far behind somebody. And I dedicated a lot of my time to becoming the best I could. The biggest dedication that I proved in myself and proved that how dedicated I was was when I played golf. I never played golf, well I played golf when I was younger but my whole life I thought golf was boring. My dad's a high school coach so I kinda just played freshman year. Well it rolls around and my dad's a varsity coach and I think I ended up playing four varsity matches my freshman year. I didn't break 100 once. That's terrible. So I do this. I get to one tournament. I shoot 124. 1, 2, 4. 124. That is 52 over par. I shot 52 over that. That is ridiculously terrible. The summer rolls around and I decided, man, I am going to become awesome at golf. I dedicated every second of my time to playing golf. My dad would drop me off the golf course at 8.30. I would play until 8.30 at night. Dedicated myself to putting in hours and hours of practice so I could be the best I could be. Fast forward, I'm going to go sophomore year. I still play, sophomore year I played varsity. I shot in the 90s. Junior year rolls around. I somehow, some way, learn to shoot in the 70s. I become an, a decent golfer. Mid to state. I, I think my best score... My best score junior year was 75. So if you go from freshman year to then, I dropped 40, 49 strokes. Wasn't good enough. Was not good enough. Was not good enough. Senior year rolls around, or se junior summer actually rolls around, not good enough. Like I said, I keep playing. I keep doing the same thing, 8.30, 8.30. And I'm playing, and I'm starting to play with a lot of better players just to get the mentality of what it's like to play good and be good. Senior year rolls around, I'm shooting the 70s, low 70s consistently. But my lowest score senior year was 73, so I dropped two strokes from junior year. I dropped 51 strokes from, yeah, I dropped 51 strokes from freshman year. That is a lot of strokes in three years. I made it to state senior year. My first round, I ended up going 40 on the first side, and it's pouring down rain. I get to the back nine, it turns on, I end up shooting 35. So I ended up shooting 75, pouring down rate in one of the hardest courses I've ever played in state. And for me, that's one of the highest points in my life, showing how strong my dedication was to my cause. I wanted to be the best golfer I could be. And just to say that I was at state shooting 75 and making the cut, because 75 was for sure inside the cut line that year, just to show that I was good enough to play with those guys, prove to myself that I can do it and that my dedication paid off. Fast forward about another year, I was able to play college golf at a community college level. First tournament, I wasn't even supposed to go to the tournament. 
I didn't qualify. Everybody on the team beat me, but two people ended up not being able to go, so I was able to go. I shoot 79 and it's 78 the first day. So I shoot 79, I shoot 9 over, which is not good. I was pissed. I wanted to do better. I'm I don't like losing. So that night, I practice putting on the carpet, getting ready for the day, dedicating myself to about an hour of putting that night to be ready for the next day so I don't suck. I shoot two under par. Like I said at the beginning, I shot 124 as one of my scores freshman year. Subtract that by 68. That is 56 strokes. 56 strokes. My dedication to being the best golfer I could be helped propel me to becoming a very good golfer that was proud of where he was. What I'm leading with that is that dedication only takes you. If you are passionate about something, you need to dedicate all your time to that cause, not caring what anybody else says. A lot of people told me I shouldn't play golf anymore because I sucked freshman year, and I did suck, but I wasn't going to let them affect what I thought and what I thought I could be. If you guys want to change your life and become the best you can be, you just dedicate all your time to this cause. If you, if you want to change your life, just dedicate it. Dedicate your time. All you can do is you. Dedicate your time to your craft, to whatever you want, and just do it. But if you dedicate all your time to your cause, you can do anything. So, I'm going to end my rant there. Um, that's just kind of what I wanted my vlog to be. I'm going to go get some coffee and eggs. You guys want to see what a big old dog looks like sitting upside down? She smiles and everything. I'm gonna go get some coffee and cook some eggs. Game time. Oh no, I missed. I'm just sitting here watching some YouTube videos, catching up on them. And eating my eggs and toast. And can I just take a second to say that we should appreciate how good eggs are? They are delicious. <whistles> They're good. Okay, I'm gonna go back to eating. Later. Well, welcome to the fan zone. Only Seahawks fans are allowed here. Or when in Super Bowls, getting them rings. But I hope my rant helped you out today. Um, big into believing in dedication like I said if you're dedicated to something you put all your time into it and dedicate your self to a cause you can do great things you become great things so I hope this helps a little bit I don't know it's just something I wanted to talk about because it is something really important to me so I really hope you guys liked it if you did remember to leave a thumbs up uh, leave a comment down below to something maybe you're dedicated to but other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys later. Hopefully have the one of the challenge video up the same day as this. So after watching this, go watch that one and watch me and Kellen's challenge series. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye.